we are just uh, turning on our the panel discussion session if anyone have any question for sabir hussain professor wu dr praveen and dr suhail sajid here she can write in the chat box or here she can raise her hand and uh, ask the question directly to the uh, to our speakers of first session So I, I, I have a first question uh, for Sabir Hussain. Sabir Hussain, would you please tell us uh, which is the major species of Thaleria in Asia? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Thaleria annulata is basically the major circulating species in Asian countries. And uh, could you please tell us, is there any zoonotic species of Thaleria found in humans? Uh, yeah, uh, I was recently, a um, uh, few days ago, I was studying a paper, Thaleria macrotai, that is basically zoonotic species that is reported in the US and mice are the reservoir for this pathogens. And if you will talk about the tick, then Exodus species is a major tick responsible for the acting as a reservoir for this. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. And, uh, uh, and how many uh, species of Babesia have been reported in humans, or if they are? Zoonotic Babesia species are, if we'll talk about the Asian countries, then maximum number of zoonotic Babesia species are reported in Asia. Uh, 181 cases were reported in different districts of China. And uh, along with that, Singapore and other Asian countries, India, one case were reported. So various cases were reported here. Yeah. And uh, we have a question for Professor Wu. Uh, Dunsheng asked the question that is the large area test started? And if they have started, when will the results be released? Hello, dear Professor, dear Professor Hansen. Um, I think I have already replied the question raised by her, Mr. Her, in the so, testing box. So thank you so much. I, I'm sure that uh, John Sheng would have uh, read that, uh, yep. the answer. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, we have a question. Sure, yeah. Uh, could, we have a question from Professor uh, Oliver Andres Paragano that could each speaker summarize what is the major vector-borne pathogen problem in the respective country? Yeah, so, thank you. Sabir Hussain, please. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your question. Yeah, if we'll talk about the Pakistan, then Thaleria and Babesia is a major uh, vector-borne pathogen circulating in our country. Thank you. And uh, what is your suggestion on this, uh, Dr. Sohail Sajid, that uh, Professor Andis Paragano said that could each speaker summarize what is the major vector borne pathogen problem in respective countries? So what's the problem in Pakistan? I would second uh, Sabar's uh, thought, thought about uh, pyroplasmosis, which is Babesia and Thaleria, but I uh, did not talk about the second part of my presentation, which was from US. So I would say that Ixodes capillaris is the most notorious uh, vector and uh, the, the Lyme disease is the, the prominent one over there. And uh, there was a new version of uh, like Babesia microti. Somebody talked about that too. So other than Babesia microti, uh, what I found recently uh, that there was Babesia odocolii, which was a deer um, Babesia uh, that was also found in the ticks which were um, collected from human beings. And I, I isolated uh, 20 specimens uh, from, from, uh, from human beings and that Babesia odocolii was found over there causing babesiosis in humans. Thank you so much. And uh, what are your thoughts on this, Dr. Nigit Parveen, that what is the major vector-borne pathogen problem in UAE? Uh, actually, uh, currently, there is no uh, uh, such a type of problem. But uh, however, hyaloma dromedary prevalence is 94% uh, in almost two or three studies. Uh, for example, in population dynamics, uh, study, uh, we have seen continuous its prevalence over the year. 
and in other uh, uh, study prevalence and distribution of ticks it was also found uh, high uh, with high prevalence so previously due to hyloma species there were outbreak in uh, ua uh, cchf we outbreak cchf outbreak in 1994 95 so uh, for this, actually, it is very important uh, to specially manage this uh, Hyloma dromedaritic species and uh, along with other Hyloma anatolicum was uh, also abundant on cows, um, sheep and uh, goats. Uh, so management of pig uh, is very important, uh, especially Hyloma species. There could be uh, re-emergence of uh, tick bone pathogens like CCHFE. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Nigit Parveen. And uh, we have a question from Dr. Omid for Professor Wu. Uh, he asked that, thanks for great talk, Professor Wu. How about the potential environmental and conservational consequences of eliminating a mosquito species? And uh, he had added that, have you done any study in this regard or planning to? Thank you, Dr. Nigit, for this question. Uh, here, uh, we want to clarify that uh, we never think or we never think that we can eliminate a mosquito species. Uh, actually, what we have done is to control the mosquito populations. We suppress population in, into a very uh, few level, you know, the level that cannot uh, make the disease, you know, to make the disease epidemic. Uh, uh, to 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 have the disease uh, transportation, uh, and in our case, actually, uh, the the previous the previous results we we slightly in uh, in an isolated island, and the the condition to eliminate the mosquitoes was very strict. For example, for Aedes albopictus, we know this is a most invasive uh, invasive mosquito species, and actually in most of the area. These mosquitoes was invest uh, was invest species, and for maybe two hundred years ago or maybe one hundred years ago, mosquitoes was not existed in this area. And even we try to you know to to control this mosquito species, or even we can eliminate this mosquito species, uh, we just to recover the conditions in like one hundred years ago. Uh, but this is the you know this is only the the the. Uh, how to say is the we can no never we, we never can you know to reach and to reach to elimination uh, any any kind of mosquito uh, species and we all, we haven't done any uh, any studies regarding on this topic yeah thank thank you so much if I just may add, yeah I, I, yeah I really didn't mean elimination except that the island that you mentioned <laughs> but even even yes, the one, yeah yeah, I only, yeah yeah I want to clarify that uh, when we about eliminated actually uh, in uh, like 13 weeks or 14 weeks we cannot capture any mosquitoes uh, in the in the trade area mm -hmm. and then we say we almost eliminated this mosquito species but actually uh, to the next year the mosquito population they recovered again uh, even the population was but yeah in, in some period we didn't uh, capture any mos mosquitoes yeah in some area yeah Thank you so much for your clarification. I mean, uh, my question was a little bit more general, kind of, and I can explain maybe better in yeah, person. Yeah. Um, so, in general, I, I'm not parasitologist, so I don't know a lot about this kind of things. Uh, I just wanted to know, when, when you do that, when you're controlling at a high level, the, the population of, let's say, mosquito or ticks in a specific uh, region uh, or a zone, and what, what would be the potential consequences on the, in general, the balance and the ecosystem there? I mean, have not you necessarily, but others done studies in this regard? Um, yeah, uh, uh, I'm not sure I can catch your point, but um, when we are performing experiments, um, actually uh, the, the Mosquitoes was monitored for almost uh, one year. We selected two sites, and one is uh, one is considered as a control site. We didn't do any release there, and the other one was a release area, and we released the stolen mosquitoes there. 
And before we did this, we found the mosquito population in uh, size are uh, uh, similar uh, based on the uh, level index or based on the uh, female uh, populations. Uh, after uh, during separation or after separation, we use these two parameters to to uh, to estimate our separation efficiency. Um, and this is a uh, only a pilot trial. Uh, to to see whether this technology can be used to control the mosquito populations, and uh, actually we don't focus much on, uh, for example, when the mosquitoes the population of mosquitoes decrease, what's the impact on the, for example, on the parasites, or what's the impact on other insects? Uh, we never uh, we haven't done such kind. Of Thank you so much. If we have time, I can ask another question. Depends yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, actually, we have a very tight schedule, so uh, we will have to stop the conversation here.